Paul Sikala has a look at a unique Southwest dish. Hey, welcome to the Casa de Sikala in my humble kitchen. I like to call it my kitchen canton. Of course, we're going to use some slang from the border Southwest because this meal is all border Southwest. We are talking authentic hatch green chiles, of course, lots of cheese, the cornbread, the milk, the whole nine yards. I'm going to give it all to you in a few seconds here. And of course, it's a great holiday dish. We like to call it Theo Frank's green chili cornbread. Here we go. First grab two cans of cream style corn and make sure you drop them into a big pot. Here we go. Then add a half cup of whole milk. Then add a half a cup of half and half. Then bust out with two eggs and crack those babies inside. Add two teaspoons of baking powder. Then one teaspoon of flour. Then a half a cup of oil, one teaspoon of salt, and one of the key ingredients, masa. Of course, if you know the holiday season here in the Old Pueblo, this masa is also known for lots of tamales as well. Make sure you use the good stuff, the Albers Yellow Corn Mill, two cups. Make sure you pour on top of the ingredients to allow it to mix better this way. We'll leave all that for a second and go ahead and cut up some authentic green chilies and chop away. Then you want to add some strips of some Longhorn yellow cheese. Add as much as you would like, my friends. Now let's go back to the original mix and do that. Just mix. Keep the mixer on low and make sure to blend it thoroughly. Then toss in some cheese and chile and booyah. Mix it all in with a spoon or spatula. Make sure to spray some Pam on the cooking pan to avoid sticking. Then pour it in and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 43 minutes. And after a bit of a time, check it out my friends. Voila, ready to go. Next step, enjoying it and eating it. So here we go, let's try it out. Not bad, I would say Theo Frank is definitely proud of this. And as a disclaimer, I really don't have a Theo Frank that does this. As a matter of fact, I do have family members and others that have made this dish, but we affectionately call it Theo Frank, Uncle Frank, because hey, we're in the border southwest, truly a fronterizo dish. And of course, if you'd like more to know about this, well, just go to kvoa.com. We have the complete recipe. And of course, I do want to say happy holidays, my friends. And don't forget, have a positive, productive holiday season filled with lots of Theo Frank's cornbread. Yum, yum, yum. Don't forget the hash chiles.